Hey guys, today I'm filming the finale for my Project 10 Piano Winter Edition. I am so excited for this finale because I was pretty darn successful with this project. If you guys did not see my intro or any of my updates, I will have my playlist linked up here. Also, the next video you guys will see for me is the intro for my Project 10 Pan Spring Edition, which I'm also very excited about. I'm rocking some spring makeup today and absolutely loving it. So just jumping into the products, I am going to show you guys the progress on all the items that I had left from last update and then I will quickly give you some summed up thoughts on the things that I have finished previously and just letting you know whether I would repurchase them or not. So my first item was an add-on from last month and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer which is marketed as a primer and moisturizer in one. I really enjoyed this. It did definitely feel moisturizing without making me greasy. It did make a nice base for foundation but I don't think this is necessary for me. I would rather use my moisturizer and then use a primer. I don't mind using two separate products and I would love to have another sample of this, but this isn't something that I would purchase because it didn't do anything for me. I just like the way that it felt. My next item is something that I just finished today. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. Right after my last update, I did take out the stopper and there was a ton more product in here. And for the past week, I've been waiting to be done, but I've continued to scrape the edges, try to scrape the bottom to get out every last bit. And I finally was able to. Also, if you guys did not know, Maybelline added some lighter and deeper shades to their Fit Me and Instant Age Rewind Concealer lines, which is fantastic. The newest light shade is Ivory, which actually looks fair enough for me, which is fantastic, but I decided I really don't love this concealer. It gives light medium coverage and it has more of a glowy finish. I prefer concealers with more medium to full coverage and a satin or a matte finish, even under my eyes because I am quite oily there as well. So this concealer just isn't made for me, but I'm happy that I did test it out again and know that for sure because I did really enjoy that the very first time I used it many, many years ago. So then we have all the eyeshadows that I had yet to hit my goal on. So at my last update, I decided to add in in a shadow for the lid and that would be the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush. My goal was just to hit pan. As you can see, I have hit pan on this, which is really exciting. This is a beautiful metallic rose gold and I hit pan literally the first use after my last update. So I was so dang close and I probably used this two or three times to expand the pan this much and then I decided to move on to something else, but I would absolutely repurchase this. I've really fallen in love with the shadow. I love pairing it with browns. I also really like pairing it with more cranberry mauve color. So after I hit pan on Amber Rush, I decided that I wanted to pull in ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Weenie. My goal was to hit pan on it and not only did I hit pan, I finished it completely, which surprised the heck out of me as well. So the way that I use my Super Shock shadows is that I apply one layer with a sponge tip applicator to get the precision. And then after I apply all the rest of my shadows, before I go in with liner, I will take some shadow on my finger and press it on my lid to really intensify the color and the metallic sheen. So that's how I always use my Super Shocks. And this eyeshadow was a bit on the older side. I believe I've had it for a couple years. And as you guys know, with ColourPop, super shocks they do start to dry out and when the super shocks start to dry out if you're applying with sponge tip applicator pieces flake off and I did try to get the flakes on my eye but they would not adhere they just kept flaking and there was nothing I could do about it so I am really proud that I finished this but I can't quite get too excited because a decent amount of this did end up flaking off and go to waste but at the same time, I'm really proud that I was able to finish it completely instead of having it just dry out because I definitely feel like I got my $5 worth out of this shadow. So I was really, really happy with that. And I cannot wait for my end of the year empties to have like a fully completed eyeshadow. So after I finished that one, I decided that I would spend some time on Lala again to see how much progress I can make on that. And I was also able to finish this completely. And I believe I worked on these items for about five weeks. I think my last update was a little early and this update is a little late. So I had about five weeks to work on them. So I finished these two shadows in about five weeks. And I use each of them five days a week, two layers each. So 
if I think about it that way, there's not a ton of product in here, which we all know. But again, I do feel proud that I was able to use it up instead of it going in the trash. I got my $5 worth and I really do love Lala. So Lala and Weenie are very similar. You definitely don't need them both. I think Weenie has a little bit more pink to it and Lala has a little bit more of a golden coppery look. They're both rose gold but Lala is more gold and Weenie is more rose. I definitely would like to repurchase one of these or a maze. A maze has always been my favorite but that one has a metallic finish so there are some glitter pieces and these are Weenie's a pearlized and Lala is an ultra metallic so they don't have any glitter. So I will repurchase one of those three in the future but I would like to work through some more ColourPop Super Shock shadows first. So then we have all of my Anastasia shadows so let me show you the progress on those. So here in my Anastasia Tamana palette I have the shade Fresh which I was trying to finish completely using this to set my eyeshadow primer and I was able to do that. From the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette I wanted to hit pan on the shade Juan Fresco which I was using as a transition color and I was able to do that and that is a pretty substantial amount of pan. I'm really proud of this. And then we have the Anastasia Single Shadow in Dusty Rose which I was using as a crease color. This was the very last one I hit pan on. I was nervous that I would make it in time but I did and I'm really really happy with that amount of pan. And then we have my ColourPop eyeshadow in Going Steady. My goal was just to make some progress on this and I definitely do think I have a slight dip. I use this as an outer corner color very, very consistently throughout this project. So I'm really happy with the progress I was able to make on this one. And my last item was also an add-in from last month. And it is the Buxom Full-On Lip Polish in the shade Tofia, a beautiful light pink. I had started out right below this line last month. And this is completely finished off. Now I know it doesn't look like it because I've got product stuck along the top. I've got product stuck along the bottom. And I'm actually right down to here. And if you guys remember my last update, I absolutely mutilated the shade in Dolly trying to get the stopper out and I wasn't able to. My tweezers are broken. My good tweezers I used for my eyebrows. I'm not using it on this and having them break again. So I got every little last bit I could naturally get out of this product without pulling out the stopper. I feel really accomplished. And again, I use this five days a week and I reapply between two to four times. So I was really, really happy that I was able to finish this off. I'm feeling so freaking accomplished with everything I was able to finish. Lippies and shadows are the hardest thing for me, so this was such an amazing update. So now that I've shown you the progress on all of those items, I'm going to go over the things that I had finished previously to let you know if I would repurchase them or not. If you want more details of my thoughts, check out the other updates. So I have the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer in the shade Radiant Yellow. Did nothing for me would not repurchase. I also finished the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in the shade 10 Porcelain. Loved the color and the finish and the coverage. I love the way this looked on my skin, but I ran through it so quickly. I don't believe it's worth the money. I wouldn't purchase this unless I was able to get it for 50% off. I have the Derma Blend Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This was just a deluxe sample size. I did really enjoy this, but I can't see myself actually purchasing a translucent loose powder from a high-end brand except the Laura Mercier for under my eyes. Next is the Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil in the shade number two. It's a really fantastic angled brow pencil. I already repurchased but in the shade one. Then this was a little bonus item. It was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold and I absolutely love the color, love the formula. It is incredible and in my last Sephora play box I did get another Rose Gold. So I'm happy I didn't even have to repurchase it. I was able to get it in my Sephora play so I'm really excited to have this again and I can see myself continuing to repurchase this forever and ever. And lastly, we have my Buxom Full Lip Polish in the shade Dolly, a really pretty mauve color. I do love the Buxom glosses, but I wouldn't repurchase this one. I would instead repurchase the Buxom Full on Lip Cream in Dolly because it's a little bit more opaque and it doesn't have any glitter and it feels a little creamier on the lips. So guys, that was my finale for my Project 10 Pan Winter Edition. I certainly went out with a bang. I'm feeling really, really proud of all the progress I was able to make in this project. And I think I'm starting out the year on a really high note with all of my great accomplishments with shadows and lippies if I say so myself. If you guys are doing any project pans I would love to know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.